What's going on everyone? Welcome back to EWC. I decided that we are gonna start something new and it's going to be called Watch Stories. And that's why we brought my friend Peter here. Uh, he's gonna tell us about his watch collection and his stories. And I just wanna give a shout out to Mandarin Oriental. We are at the Jade Lounge because we are so classy. You know, we're just here having the afternoon tea and talking watches. Talking watches, very talking happy watches. to be here. Yeah, so let's get into it. The last couple episodes that I did for EWC, I think everyone really, really liked it, especially tattoos and watches. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, right? I brought Peter on today for a specific reason, purpose, not just because he's a good friend, but also the fact that he is a watch connoisseur, a watch collector. <laughs> uh, he comes from a family of watch connoisseurs and they really know what they're doing. They really know what they're talking about. You know, he's a real watch expert. Very happy to be here. Thank you, Sonny. I get excited talking about watches too. And I just, I just can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> But um, I would say like watch connoisseur, watch collecting, I think very important for people to know that something, a watch or anything that you collect is beautiful because you love it. The more you love it, the more beautiful it is. You know, some people can have the sickest collection, but if he doesn't really care about the watches, he's just showing it to people, then you know, I really feel nothing. And someone could have all different generations of the Apple Watch, but he's yeah. super into it, then that's really cool. So. You know, we'll collect different things. So last year, Sonny came to the store, said he was looking yeah. for something. I'm like freaking out. I'm flipping the store upside down. What's the coolest thing we have? It was so good at the end. I was so happy that the watch I wanted to show him the most turned out to be the watch that he liked the most. Yes. Which is the Octo on his wrist right now. Ultra stylish, fits him so well. Have a look. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? You had it for a couple months now? Yeah, I've had it for about four months now. This is so thin. Right. You know, what, what drew me to this watch was the design, honestly. Incredible. And the bracelet is so comfortable. I guess it's a custom order bracelet. Absolutely, yes. Right. So and you, this you, one originally comes with a leather strap. Exactly. Sonny said, no, leather strap's not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's open worked with a skeleton, uh, you can see the movement. Everything in here is so nice and it's so well put together. Mm. I know a lot of people will say, hey, Bulgari, it's a fashion watch. But you know what, to me, it's much, much more than that. Definitely. It, yeah. It's got history, it's got heritage, comes from a great designer. People that know me, I love Jalgenta. Like you said, besides the watch being an awesome piece of work, this whole time I was showing this watch was that Sonny was really all about the details. When I was telling him about the watch, he was really looking at it looking at the piece in front of him for what it is and thinking about how he feels about it, he puts it on. It really makes a watch person happy when someone is just really connecting with the watch and then deciding for himself. And, and man, look at it, it looks great. Yeah. It's an awesome is, selection. Yeah. No, this is beautiful. I heard I am one of a kind. I've know. never seen it. And Bulgari has never told me they have not gotten such requests. So today on this show, we're just gonna claim it. This is a one-on-one. That's First right, one, we're that's just right. Claim it. <laughs> that's right. Like I said, when we hooked up on the Octo, uh, we started talking and then one day we were just, he was in the area, he asked me to grab some food. We we're like, yeah, just on sandwich, something casual. And this guy walks in another time, he was wearing like, <laughs> he comes in shorts, sweatshirt, cap back, rocking a Vastron 1921. And that was another time that was, that absolutely put a smile on my face. I was just like, it's so good because when you're in the business, sometimes, you know, you got to satisfy clients, you want to close deals. Sometimes you don't, it gets a little murky and then you don't really get the pure love for, um, for the beauty of watches all the time. But when I saw him walking in, just like rocking that watch, making it totally his own, wearing it his way and wearing it so well, that's like Thank so you, happy to see. I think on that note, we'll start with my first watch. Yeah, let's see. And, um, it's also the most important watch to me, I would say. If I could keep one watch, it would be this watch. It's the um, Cartier Sansos. Yeah. So this watch was uh, given to me all night. Oh, okay. Yeah, all night by my family. So I would be about 21, 22. So I think I was just done with about school, my military stuff. I was kind of off on my own and this was their kind of their present, kind of their... Um, Becoming a man now. Something sort like of that. Like you're coming into yeah. society. Kind of like a sohu fu the guy. Okay, yeah. You know, at the time, and I remember when I was a kid, when I was when I had to hold my dad's hand like this, he had a Cartier, and I didn't know what it was. Um, I didn't know what one plus one was. 
<laughs> but I knew one day I want to wear a watch like that. So when he gave me this watch, it was like really special. And then I was really young, so I wore this everywhere. I wore it all the time, and it works so well. Like, Cause you know, I was like 21, 22, all my friends like, oh my God, you're wearing a yeah, Cartier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So man, we had so much fun. There was so much memory made with this watch. And this watch has absolutely been a friend, been a companion and um, you know, just, just, just so much memories. So like wearing it for a long time and really having a watch, you get to appreciate like, you know, it's not the newest watch anymore. It's not the hottest watch. It's, it's probably not too hard to get. But you know, the meaning, the time that we spent together and every time I looked down, everywhere I was, it always worked. It was always there with me. And that, that to me is really like what collecting, maybe not just collecting, what loving something is about. Yeah, for and sure. Yeah, so I just want to encourage people to love your watch. Trust me, the more you love it, the more beautiful it is. All right, moving on to my second watch. So that was given to me by my family. So this will be the first watch that I actually bought. Okay. It's Ooh. the Rolex GMT. Yeah, this is the uh, the Batman, right? The original Batman. So they That's discontinue right. it and they put it on the Jubilee and then they came back with it. This also brings back memories. Cool. So, you know, when I started working for the family, probably after three, four years in, I decided to make a purchase. But at the time, this watch, brand new release from Basel World. And then it was in the store on display for like three months. And then like nobody picked it up. <laughs> You know what? No one's gonna believe you. Nobody picked it okay. up. Um, none of y'all will believe this, that this was just sitting there for three months and no one wanted it. To the point I was like, okay, maybe I should pick it up. Yeah, and you did probably. And then guess what? Something, another thing that you'll never believe, next to this watch, another watch on display. Take a guess. What was that? Let me, was it Daytona or something? Or? The Rainbow Daytona in yellow gold was on display, ready to sell at MSRP. Why Nobody didn't, picked it up. Oh man, why didn't I meet you earlier? <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, that's a little much. You know, that's a little expensive. You know, wow. think about it. It's it was... like 130, 120, right, right, 130,000, right. something like that, right? So yeah. Oh, my. Oh. Every day I would open the, the safe, the Jinku, and display the watches, and I'll put it back on. <laughs> At night, I'll put it back in. It was damn like. And you're probably thinking, like, who wants this? Yeah, <laughs> when somebody finally picked it up, I'm like, oh, that, that one, <laughs> don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> So that was uh, that was about seven oh, seven man. years ago. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But that's that's funny. Um, things have changed. <laughs> things have changed. Things have changed. So we're very lucky. Uh, one came through with serial number ending eight 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 ba ba ba. Okay. And then it was Father's Day, so my mother and I went half and half on it, and we gave it to my dad as a Father's Day gift. And it became mine pretty soon after. So you know. <laughs> yeah. Gotta strategize, gotta strategize. Yeah, that's... <laughs> but the GMT works great, you know. A few years after that, I started to have to travel to Switzerland to different watch shows. And this function is such a simple mechanism Two time that zones. works so well. Yeah. Yeah. It's best travel watch. I have a question. How do you feel about the new Sprite, the lefty, the green and the black that was just announced at Watches and Wonders? I have a lot of a lot of reaction. My initial reaction was um, this is Rolex just showing people like we can do whatever we want, you know. Yeah. We can do whatever we want. None of you thought about this. <laughs> yeah, it blew None my of mind. None of you thought about this. We're just gonna do it. And a left-handed watch on a GMT actually doesn't make a lot of sense. It's usually on a diver because you might have to wear another uh, yeah. instrument on your hands right. or you put it on your left hand. I have yeah. to see a real person. But my initial reaction, yeah, yeah. I was just like. Bro, well, I just <laughs> yeah. But I gotta say, um, I, for the Destro, if I had to get one, it's not that I had to, it's like if I could get my hands on one, if it would have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hint, hint. You guys, trying to work him here. Um, guys, comment below and tell Peter to give me the Destro Sprite in Jubilee. Okay. And I will give you guys something for free. Giveaway right here. Comment. Tell them to give me one. I, I can put you on the list. That's yeah. the best I can do. <laughs> so the next one was, ah. it's the Octo. I've been talking about this watch nonstop. If you watch my other videos, this was also the watch I wanted to show Sunny. I'll say this is the first watch that uh, I understood. You know, from a concept standpoint, from the work, and that I appreciate it. You know, at this point, I had some experience in the business. Most of their models have this monochrome color, the same same material, same color. This is their masculine men's watch. So as a man, when things happen to you, every time you get cut, every time you get a mark, every time you get a, um, you accomplish things, 
who you really are started to take shape. But that person was there the whole time. And I really just love that concept. And then when you look at the bracelet, you know, very comfortable, very delicate. The ultra thin case, I think, you know, a man can be very strong, but very delicate at the same time. I've been wanting an all black watch for a long time. So when it finally came out with this one, it was just like, take my money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dial is also ceramic, that it was so dark that it had to figure out a way to put the index on. Uh, so they actually yeah. injected metal onto the dial to make it reflective. Yeah. Otherwise, there was no other way for them to complete the all dark look, but also have it be legible. So yeah, this is my um, this is my first watch that it's a bit more personal style wise. You know, I had the family watch, my first Rolex, and this one I really picked for myself. I like this watch. It wasn't because that's the watch you're supposed to get. Oh, if you're gonna spend this much, you gotta get that. Yeah. Um, you know, when you got this a couple of years ago, you, you were very forward thinking because when that came out, I remember it shocked the world too. You know, at yeah. 2.3 millimeters thick, um, the movement, the design, because they had the, the original Octo, but that's a little thicker. Right, that wasn't a Finissimo. Yeah, and then this is the Finissimo, and this is what really caught my attention. Yeah. Um, but I, I was afraid to take the leap, and I did see a couple of your videos, and that did influence me on getting this one to be honest. And nice. uh, I have to say, you know, you, you were ahead of the pack. Obviously working with a team, you really get to see like, you know, behind the scene and what they're working on. And you can tell these years, they really committed to it. This wasn't a one-time thing. This wasn't yeah. a, let's break the record just to make some news. You know, they really committed to the line. And it's something I feel very confident offering to any, any one of my clients. This is my next watch, uh, the Breitling Navy Timer. I wasn't looking for a Breitling. I wasn't looking for a Navy Timer. But uh, it was doing one of the events. Obviously, I work with Breitling. They said, oh, Peter, put this on for tonight. I'm like, okay, cool. And then afterwards, I said, you know what? Why don't you take it for a ride? Keep it for a few days. Yeah. And uh, very much like how I strategize on the, <laughs> on the GMT, <laughs> they, they strategize on me because this one grew on me pretty fast. It works so well. I mean, every time I look down, it's just a very handsome watch. You know, the bezel, the uh, facing watts, and then the old school pusher. It's, it's just a really good looking watch. This year happened to be the 70th anniversary of the Navy Timer. So they got in all sizes, all dials, and then available, you know, it's a very nice watch that you can go pick up in the store. I was actually about to say, with the three watches that you have, um, this would actually be a great compliment because it's a chrono. It is a chrono, um, right. And it's an aviation watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got history. It fits right in. I think this works perfectly in your collection, man. Yeah, just every time I look down, I'm just, this is a very handsome watch. No, it is. And uh, the power reserve works great. I never had to uh, adjust it. I think it's good that a little random, a little bit of yuan and a little bit of destiny allow me to met this watch and really appreciate it. Well, I mean, it's, it's these stories and these memories yeah, that yeah. make these watches a part of your life. Yeah, like you said, I could have easily pick out a panda. You know, at the time, I didn't really have a reason to pick out a panda. But yeah, it's just a touch of destiny, and we've been having a good time ever since. I think it's a community I'm really proud to be a part of. And what's the, uh, what's the last one you got in the box? The last one, this one is uh, definitely got a story to it. This is the OP Green Dial. So this one is um, also a very important watch to me. Um, a few years ago, my mother passed, and we were very, very close. I was very depressed, I was very angry. Um, I was in a bad place, I yeah, was in a bad I'm, place. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, but eventually, you know, I had to try to get myself back together. You know, I know she wouldn't want to see me like that. And that's when I saw this watch. Um, just right away, the green dial was so comforting. Um, her last name was Ye, like Su Ye the Ye. So instantly, like, you reminded me of her. Yeah. And so OP, OP, like, no fuss, no stress. You know, an easygoing watch, I can wear this anywhere. I can spend every day with this watch and I never have to worry anything about it. So yeah, it's just, I feel like a, kind of like a protection from her when I look at this watch. You know, every time I look at it, it feels like the dial, it just feels like a deep breath, like, feels like a smile. A very meaningful watch to me and it really does have a special feeling. Um, you know, I hope if she comes back from time to time, like she can rest on the dial, she can rest on this watch and we can go to a few places together. Yeah, a lot of people think like I got the OP because it was like the hot watch, but I got it right away. Like before it hit the market, it was just a preview. And right away I knew I wanted to wear this watch. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one, it's a good one. Well, this is a beautiful watch, um, beautiful story. 
Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, man, her soul rest in that. peace. You know, hey man, give me a hug, man. You know, honestly, I didn't know it was like a, such a heavy, you know, it story. Is. It but is. Um, I, I just wanted to thank you for sharing with everyone. Honestly, um, like I said, that's why these all these watches are are memories, right? Yeah. They're they're part of your life, and especially this one. So yeah, it's, I'm I'm just glad to have the. Like I said, a little bit of your friend to have met each one of them, and they've all stayed with me, spent a lot of time with me, we made a lot of memories, and um, to be continued, to be continued. We always talk about, you know, how much watches are, uh, what this brand is, and the hype, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, how we're chasing after all these things, but what you told us all today, you know, really made me appreciate watches that much more now, and not just chasing the hype. You know, not yeah. just trying to always show off my Grail watches, uh, which I will still do. <laughs> All right, guys, which I will still do. But um, there are watches that have a lot of meaning to me, um, not just the value. Um, right. And, and I think I do want to share that more with you guys. Um, and, and I do want to bring on more friends or just my circle of friends uh, that are watch connoisseurs and watch collectors and, and have them come on and tell stories. Yeah. But um, I really appreciate you, know, you coming pleasure on to be here, and, yeah. and being the first guest of Watch <laughs> Stories on EWC. So guys, if you want to know more about Peter or his company, Zongmei, um, his link and his information is down in the description right below here. And uh, remember, comment, and tell Peter to give me an allocation for the Destro <laughs> Sprite Jubilee. I'll give you a nice <laughs> allocation on the wait list. I'll pick, pick a nice spot for you. <laughs> no, but thank you so much, Peter. Yeah, Appreciate absolute it. pleasure. Thank you yeah. for the EWC fans. Hope to be on soon again. Yeah, man. Or we'll do something fun and have you come on and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll entertain the EWC people again. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>